This is Journey with Prayer, a contemplative prayer journey corresponding to our episode, Leading Differently Together, APES Series Introduction with Zach Mante. gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Ephesians 4, 11-13 from the ESV. Loving Father, We come with hearts full of gratitude, acknowledging the beauty of your multifaceted nature reflected in the diverse giftings that you've poured out on us and on the body of Christ. You are the one true shepherd, guiding and nurturing us through the shepherds and teachers you have placed in our lives. And we thank you for the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and the teachers within the community of believers all working together for the common good and the edification of your body. And Father, we lift up those within our communities who carry these diverse giftings. Grant them wisdom, discernment, and a deep sense of your presence as they serve your people. And may they continue to strengthen and equip others for the work of ministry, encouraging unity and spiritual growth. We also uphold those who are yet to recognize and embrace their giftings, praying that the Holy Spirit reveals and ignites these gifts within them, guide them into deeper communion and deeper communication with you, and enable them to bless and build up the body of Christ. God, we thank you that these gifts are accessible and that you even let us utilize them in different seasons for your purposes, even when we don't see them as our strengths because in our weakness, you show yourself strong. As we reflect on the abundance of giftings that you've graciously given us, help us to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. May we approach these giftings with humility and a desire to serve others, embracing the diverse roles within the body of Christ. Guide our steps and fill us with a deeper understanding of your purposes for these giftings within the church and our wider communities. In Jesus' name, amen. So as you go out through this week, I want to encourage you, take the time to reflect. Reflect on the different giftings mentioned in Ephesians 4, 11 to 13, and consider how they contribute to the health and unity of the body of Christ. And engage, engage in conversations with individuals in your community who exercise these gifts and learn from their experiences and their insights. And finally, pray. Pray for the church and the body of Christ to flourish in the fullness of these giftings, to be equipped for effective ministry. Here are three ways that you can pray. Number one, pray for the church to recognize and embrace the diverse giftings within the body of Christ, fostering unity, and maturity in the faith. Number two, pray for individuals to be open to the Holy Spirit's leading and the discovery of their unique giftings, that they may joyfully and humbly serve their communities. And number three, pray for your personal transformation, asking God to renew your heart and mind and guide you in embracing and expressing the diverse giftings that are in you and within the body of Christ. You can check the show notes for these references, prayers, and scriptures. Or to find out more about our podcast, head over to journeywithcare.ca. I'm Johan, and thanks for praying with me today.